G'day and welcome back to Ford Off Road. This video, continuing on the LS build. Um, this was going to be paint and body. It's still paint and body, the body's gonna go back on, finished and painted at the end of this episode. There's not actually gonna be any paint or body in the video, but it is done. Well, it will be done in three days time. Um, in the meantime, I've been doing some things and I'm gonna do some more things before we put the body back on. So, I've got the Killer Customs wiring harness. Killer Customs, Killer Custom cables and conversions. Full plug-in harness, you just gotta wire in the fuel pump and a couple other things. So most of that's plugged into the top of the motor and everything. I haven't plugged the coolant sensor or O2 sensors in yet. Mainly because I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. <laughs> um, I've also ran fuel lines. I just decided to run all new fuel lines and I made all new brake lines as well. Modified the Superior Engineering Coil Tower Brace to take a battery in the back under the tray. I had to sink it down a bit, otherwise it would have hit the floor of the tray when I built that. And I've got a powder coat of green. The car's gonna be green, so why not? Um, I've decided I'm not gonna run the sub tank. It's not gonna be an everyday car. It's just gonna be like a play car, do burnouts and jumps and stuff, and get pulled over. Uh, so I've got to run. So what I'm going to do now before I put the battery, uh, before I put the back, what I'm going to do now before I put the body back on is run some battery cables. I've got brand new three inch Dobinson flexi coils, four inch long travel TJM shocks and a couple spaces for the back. That's pretty much just a, like a standard little spring seat replacement and that's only because I didn't want tops of those bolts to wear on the springs so I've gone down from a four inch to a three inch and that's simply because the LS is a lot lighter than a TD42 and the tray I'm going to make is also going to have an alloy floor so it's going to be a whole lot less weight um, so it is a three inch but with the weight on the ute it's going to end up at about four inch so we'll see what happens so anyway let's chuck that in That's not how you do it. Okay, little mishap. That's what happens when you got. So how it has to be up with the suspension hanging for those springs to max out. Told me you got really long springs. <laughs> to get the front line up in the back. It's weird seeing it sit up that high. It's been sitting on the bump stops for like three months coming in the shed, so it's really weird seeing it sitting up that high. Anyway, it is going to come down with the body and tray go on. Chuck the back shocks in, see if I can remember where the hell I put the bolts for them. Oh, another thing that I've done in between videos is I put the fuel pump in. Put the in-tank pump in, which is just the one that Mark recommends. Um, also run some diff, diff breather lines. And I've got a sick alloy uh, reservoir. So 
that's pretty much all I'm going to do before the body goes back on. I know that might have been a little bit boring, just fitting suspension. Most people know how to fit suspension. Oh, by the way, that's my new patrol. It's a TD42 12mm pump. Series 4 conversion on the front end. I'm currently building a ball bar for it and a couple other things. Anyway, here is the patrol. Now, it looks pretty bad. The engine's been painted. Engine bay is finished. I've put some heat shooting on the firewall. Started putting, well, I didn't really start putting things in. Put the wiper motor in if that counts. Uh, the body is all in primer. Got all the dints out. It's in primer and it's got a guide coat on it. I've got to wet sand that with uh, 600 and then 800 grit. And then in three days it's getting painted. So you'll see when it's done. Send it now. And yeah. Bodywork sucks. I can understand why people pay 10 or 15 grand to get their car painted because bodywork is shit. That is a week of work. So anyway. Looking sick. Just got the steering wheel and the handbrake in there so I can actually move it. Some new tyres. Same as before. <clears throat> Same before without the fake bead lock because that just filled up the mud. So we'll do without that and if I decide to do some competitions or something later, I'll get some proper, like probably dirty life bead locks or something. Anyway, bar's back, put the bar on just because it's got to look good. Um, yeah. I am absolutely stoked with how it turned out. Um, so the doors, the guards, the bonnet is not done. That's I'm gonna do those once I've pretty much got it finished and running and built a tray and all the rest of it so they're not worried about them getting scratched sitting in the shed. So for now, I'm just gonna put it back in the shed and then try and piece this jigsaw puzzle back together.